It's that time again. WrestleMania trip time. I know it's cliche and I say this every year, but man, it's like, it's here already, you know? Uh, it always goes by so fast. We're 10 days away from which when is my when my trip starts. Before I actually get into the um, the the day-by-day the day, uh, itinerary, so to speak, for us, um, I mean, just something to say about the travel packages for anyone watching this that maybe is considering them for Mania. To me, I know Breach and Ravi are dead set on getting the uh, the travel packages for for thirty two in Dallas. I will not be doing that because to me, I've I've done it once and I it was great and all, but to me, the way I see it is you're basically paying WWE to be your travel planner. Uh, it, it's better to me. The package is best for people that are gonna do that want to do almost everything, if not everything, WWE related that weekend. And if you're coming from out of the country. And you may not know about the city and how to, you know, plan accordingly to make sure you get from event to event uh, smoothly. Uh, other than that, I mean, I know this whole stress thing about buying tickets, and I, I can get where they're coming from, but I have a different outlook on things. For me, it's fun, because I know that whatever happens, I'm going to end up with a ticket. Um, I'm going to go to the event that I'm looking up tickets for, and... To me, it's like that. That's all there is to it. I mean, it's it's a rush actually for me looking for tickets, and it's it's fun too because usually we get on. I well, not this year. We I don't think we did it at all this year. Maybe for Mania itself, but I don't think we really got on Skype during uh, the on sale dates. No, not even for Mania. But usually we would get on Skype and look for tickets together when the tickets go on sale. And that that's fun. Like for me, it's just I know at the end of the day the outcome is I'm gonna end up with a ticket. And that's that's to me makes it fun on its own. Um for me I'd rather just plan the trip the way I want to instead of being roped into, you know, basically everything WWE related and Hall of Fame and Access and Mania and Raw and you know, like to me no, I'd rather just plan it the way I want to because who knows, what if something pops up like this year, NXT popped up. What if you're already roped into the, the package and you know, at this point you're kinda of having to tweak things. No, this way I plan what I want to do on my own pace. If someone happens to maybe let's say later on they're like, Hey, I just bought a ticket, it's January, can I room with you? At that point, we were kind of like, well, yeah, because there's so much more flexibility than with the package to me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my take um, on the package. So, uh, not a not a fan anymore. Um, unless there's exceptions, you know, if uh, let's say I win the lottery and uh, I can just pay for everyone's platinum or VIP package, then hey, the package is the way to go, right? But anyways, we uh, my and this year by we I mean Ravi Breach and myself. That's my immediate group uh, as in we'll be rooming together and uh, basically going almost everywhere together uh, we arrived to San Jose reached drives this year which lucky for him you know um, he I believe Ravi gets there first I think he gets in there like at 2 I get there like at 3 30 uh, or 3 o'clock um, San Jose Wednesday afternoon we immediately go over to San Francisco just because it's about an hour traffic from San Jose or an hour to from San Jose to San Francisco without traffic. Um, we were originally going to go on Monday but we figure Wednesday's better because if we get traffic to and from San Francisco it's not a problem since we don't have any shows to make it to so it doesn't matter if we get stuck in traffic. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm excited to go to San Francisco and, uh, again, and take a picture in front of Candlestick before they tear that son of a bitch down, uh, show Ravi Chinatown, the Fisherman's Wharf on Market Street, and, you know, Ravi's never been to San Francisco, let alone California, so that I'm, I'm, I'm eager to see if he likes it, you know, to kind of show him around and have him fall in love with San Francisco. Uh, Thursday is when I guess you could say the trip starts, quote unquote, just because that's when all the events start. Um... Ravi and Breach have access. Ravi's meeting Roman Reigns. Uh, I think access this year is from 5 to 10. They added a free hour. Uh, usually it's 6 to 10, but they added made it, they added an hour for free. Uh, Breach is meeting Ric Flair, I believe, and Roman Reigns. Um, I, myself, would just kind of show up and see what the hell I feel like doing. I know Evolve's running a show that day. Um, I'm not doing the Wally Mania thing, I, um, just because I don't want to go to a club by myself, like a fucking goof. Um, I know Ravi and Breach think it's this amazing, incredible valley, which I believe if you have a, a Wrestling Observer subscription, which I do, um, you can get in there and meet Ray and go get the VIP perks, uh, uh, I think all you can drink, uh, open bar for 15 bucks, which is a valley, but again, I'm not going to go by myself. If, uh, Breach and Ravi were to 
somehow just or for whatever reason want to sell their access tickets and they decide to go, then I would go. But we'll see what I do on Thursday. It'll I'll do something. Friday, we're going to WrestleCon. That should be fun. Um, I plan on meeting a bunch of people. I keep going back and forth on which guys I want to pay for auto and picture, picture or maybe just a picture, maybe just an auto. Guys that I – some – there's guys that I, I want them to sign something for the sake of completing it, but I don't want to pay them because I fucking hate them. I'm going back and forth revising my list, but there will be a bunch of guys I'm going to meet. Uh, I know Ravi's going to meet a bunch of guys as well as Breach. That should be fun. That's Friday morning, afternoonish. Um, our buddy Mike, HBKFan25 on Twitter, uh, which by the way, I probably should have done this at the beginning of the video, but Snapchat, uh, which I did put a graphic, but you know, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Instagram, it's Miguel Yo, as it sounds. I'll be posting shit left and right, Mania Weekend, as I did last year. This year with Snapchat included, but in case you want to add me, there you go. Uh, our buddy, HB Ken Fan 25 Mike, will be arriving that day in the afternoon. We'll eventually meet up with him after we've pretty much done WrestleCon. Um, his shtick and Ravi's is to, or well, not so much Ravi, but... I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll want to do it as well, is to have him try In-N-Out Burger for the first time. So we're going to do that. And then from there's where we split up for the day. Um, Breach, myself, and Mike. Uh, I still don't know if Victor, Guy in Green, WD is going to join us. But we're going to go to the ROH show in Redwood City, which is headlined by Samoa Joe versus Jay Briscoe for the ROH title, which is going to be an awesome match. Uh, Ravi's going to go with a couple of our other buddies, Luke and uh, Zach, to... Access, I believe he's meeting Triple H that night, so he'll be doing that. After Access, we'll be we'll meet up back with Ravi for the Kaiju Big Battle uh, show, which is uh, last year we were, we missed it, but this year we're we're pretty sure we're gonna make the show. Uh, what basically Kaiju Big Battle is is a bunch of mascots wrestling in a ring. It sounds really ridiculous, but that's part of the humor in it. It's it's so like it's I don't know, it's so funny just to watch nonsense going on in a ring it's like i don't know it's just picture like a a play between godzilla and king kong except these guys are like dressed in like waffle outfits like it's it's ridiculous it's like 20 bucks it's it's a fun thing to do and it starts at midnight i believe so we should be able to make it from the roh show to there um we're not doing nxt um i know ravi is easy for ravi to do that just because you know he has nothing to do after access but I believe Ravi even wants to go to Kaiju and pass up on NXT. For me, I know I'm going to make it to an NXT show, hopefully even a special at that one day. I'm not, you know, like, oh, I have to go. Uh, plus, I know I'm going to get a good show at ROH. I always have fun at those. And to top that all that off, I know I'm not going to be able to find anyone to buy to buy my already paid for $50 ticket, which is alone. Like, it's not even a pair. If it was a pair, we may have luck at selling it, but... Um, yeah, so to all that, I'm, I'm totally fine with going to ROH, not to shit on NXT by any means, because I'm sure it'll be a fun show, um, I would guess maybe Devitt and, uh, or, uh, uh, Balor and, uh, Owens would headline, but whatever it is, I'm sure that'll be fun as well, so, um, we'll, that's how Friday will go, Saturday we're doing WrestleCon again in the morning, there's some people that will only be there on Saturday, uh, so we got to hit up that again. That'll take us to early afternoon, which will then go. To, and Ravi Breach and myself will be going to WrestleCon. I believe Gemini 888 will be joining us as well uh, Saturday morning at Ax or, uh, Access at WrestleCon. So that should be fun. Uh, that'll take us into Hall of Fame mid afternoon ish, late afternoon actually. It's like around 4 it starts. From there, it depends because this is what's going to happen. I know Breach and Ravi have tickets for the WrestleCon uh, wrestling show uh, Saturday night, which starts at 7. So I'm pretty sure they're going to leave early because they want to make it to their show on time. I do not want to say that, stay there and watch fucking Kevin Nash headline a Hall of Fame. So you bitch your ass, I'm not going to be there by the time that dude hits the stage. Um, so yeah, we're basically all leaving early for different reasons. Um, I, again, I just refuse to sit there to watch fucking Kevin Nash headline a Hall of Fame class. Um... But yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, Saturday night, I'm gonna be hanging out with some cousins that I have that live in San Jose, so I'll be doing that. Meanwhile, Ravi and Breach go to um, the WrestleCon uh, wrestling show. Um, that'll basically take care of that. Um, by the time I'm, you know, 
doing what I'm doing and they're doing what they're doing. It'll take us, you know, like pretty much finish the day. I think they're going to do the Cole Cabana $5 wrestling, whatever it's called now, show. So they'll be doing that. So that's what you can expect in their videos. Um, let me go to Sunday. Sunday is very interesting because we don't have anything planned up until Mania. Um, morning, I know they have, a, Saturday morning, I know they have an access session. You know, I'm not doing that. I don't know what they're going to do, but I don't think, I haven't heard any plans from that, especially Ravi, because at that point, Ravi would have done two sessions, I believe. So I don't think you want to do that. We'll see what there is to do. I'm sure we'll find something to do. That takes us to Mania. After Mania, I hope to get meet up somewhere like at a restaurant, maybe the Yard House, something like that, and have dinner and some beers and hopefully talk about... <laughs> I, I don't know, hopefully what was a good show, or at least a show we enjoyed live. Hopefully there's some positivity to be talked about uh, regarding the show at, during that dinner. Uh, but yeah, it'll take care of Sunday night. Monday, we're going to a place that I haven't been to in 13 years, and that's Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, which is basically what it sounds. It's a boardwalk on the beach. Um, there's rides. There's good food. You can drink on the boardwalk. It's it's going to be awesome. We're doing that so that way, and it's only about 30 minutes uh, from um, San Jose, so we can come back and make it in time for Raw which Raw starts at 5, the doors open at 4, I think, so we'll be there in plenty of time, and it's going to be so cool for me to go to the boardwalk, I haven't, like I said, I haven't been there in 13 years, last time I went there, I was in 8th grade on a middle school trip, um, and yeah, I was actually born in Santa Cruz as well, so it's going to be really, really cool for me to go there, personally, and Ravi, again, Ravi's never been to California, he's never been to the boardwalk, so that's going to be cool to have him go, go do that. Uh, and then we'll, that we'll go to Raw. After Raw, we'll hopefully again find a plant, find a place to eat and meet up. Just another, just something else to kind of keep the trip going and hang out. And then Tuesday we say our goodbyes. Ravi's out of there early, early. Like, I mean, his flight is at six, so he's going to leave the hotel by at least five, even before that. So he'll be out of there early, early, early. I leave sometime in the afternoon. I can't remember what time, but I'll, I won't be out of there too late either. And then, yeah, that'll basically be it. Anything else that I don't mention now is something that comes up as a spur-of-the-moment deal. But um, we packed a lot of things into this five-day trip, as we always do. Um, but, yeah, this, this will definitely be a good time. Um, and, uh, yeah, but, yeah, uh, I'll be posting stuff on my social media accounts. Like I said, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, it's Miguel Yo. Uh, that's where you guys can, you know, kind of follow my weekend as it goes along. But, yeah, that's basically it. And, uh I guess now, I mean, you guys can look forward to the vlog. I don't even know why I'm rambling on here. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.